All right, it is counting now. Good. I didn't even. I guess I did hit the reset button. So here, the strat is 30 seconds, and then die to the wall. survive a decent amount of time here now. Let's go for like 15. Ah, why did I think he was gonna dash inside? I mean, this level's a lot easier with the dash ability, but I should be able to beat it with it. I should be able to get like my desired time without dashing. Alright, just farm that a little more. Speed up through here. I think the goal is to get 20 on this level. Or until it becomes too difficult. Yeah. What do I need to die to? Oh, I didn't die to a, a big disc here. Alright, and then I only need 8 seconds here, which is pretty simple. Rolling. I think it's actually a decent pace now. Yeah, that was fine. I think that's actually yeah, gold split. Sometimes save possible there, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. to the slow guy. But that was really good good pace. Alright. I should really double speed up on this room, but I don't like the prospects of messing up for such a small time game. Time gain. I think this is actually like just straight up one of my most favorite levels in the game. Oh, I, I survived so long I don't even have to do this room. Something about the way those discs work is just really appealing to me. faster to use the menu there to skip this level, or to skip that level, rather than dying and then moving. Please tell me again. Yeah, good. If I didn't get 10 seconds there, that would have been really sad. Also, I need to pay attention to moving forward, not only on, really on all of these mini-boss levels, but especially the, this one, because he spawns. Uh, he spawns a disc early on. So if you don't pre-grab the first disc, you're at a severe disadvantage. Five plus five is not bad. That's the one risk though, is like sometimes they dash towards where you're dashing. Reacting to that is impossible. All right, two more and then I get some plus territory. Shame. Alright, I only need 
nine here. Right, and like I did so well on the previous levels that I wasn't forced to farm the third mini boss there. One more needed. Dive bomb it. Works every time. Dive bombing is actually like such a good strat though. Especially on these levels where like Sometimes it's kind of hard to find something to kill you. I mean, it's not that hard to find something to kill you, but it's like, it's the fastest way to, to end the level after getting exactly the bare minimum requirements. That was kind of a risky dash into this corner. All right, two more and they're right next to each other. I don't want to dive it too hastily, but that was pretty good. Need to get better at the menu. Alright, now for the slowish part of the run. It's definitely the fastest I've beaten Carnivorous, though. If we don't mess this up, we should be fine. I'm just gonna wait for the second light before I get too crazy with boosting again. There we go, second light. On stuff in the center of the room in this room, so like the danger is always the things you don't see, which are typically coming from off screen. So like theory would say the center is the safest place to be, but that's where they're always spawning stuff. It's an interesting like game design here where the lights give you light, but they stay on the map. 47's not bad. I think the ideal, like I say, is like a 60-60 split. But getting 60 in this room, I mean my record is 80 seconds. Getting 60 in this room is not super simple. I think it requires a decent amount of RNG on your side. It's like sometimes the discs like seem to surround you on all sides and then at the last second they like give you an opening. Good guy discs. And like there I had to make a crazy dash and uh, and the guy spawning just didn't spawn in time. If I can one shot, um, I need 73 seconds. I don't know if I'll get it though at this rate. That was such a hype dash. Yeah, I didn't, didn't quite get it. No! Okay, let's just try it. <laughs> Did I get it? No, I need seven more seconds. So I'll just go here and do it then. Actually got quite a bit of time with the clone on Perfect Dark. Which is kind of troll, but... Whatever, it works. I need to start doing that more often where I just... Where I memorize the map. Instead of always going to the map and like spamming the menu there, you can navigate between rooms pretty quickly after dying. But the, like again, like I said, the map is really useful for navigating when you're still alive. If you want to quick exit a room. Alright, three more. If I can get up one double, that's good, but... Yeah. Ooh. I was gonna say, I wasn't super confident with those double phantom discs. So I was like, I'm probably going to get a single, but then I ended up dying anyway. Again, the time save from getting two orbs in one dash is nice, but not dying is even nicer. I occupy the center. This orb on my left, or disc on my left. Where is this guy? He's just trolling me. Alright, if I get a double on the last one, that's good, but I might get a little trolled by these phantom discs. That is a double. Can't quite grab it though. Alright, pretty solid time. Now I just need a knot. This is so annoying. I, like, I'm just trying to... Okay, first of all I want to absorb, but I just want to start this room and die. So frustrating sometimes. Alright, let's go to RNG too. And they're moving straight across. Oh. I guess I 
guess we can try it, yeah. So dan the center is so dangerous at the beginning. Oh my goodness. Ideally you want to I should probably start getting rid of the disc I have inside of me as soon as I Well like it's ideally right before I die, but it's not always simple to know when you're gonna die. I should have seen that one coming. Poor performance on that level means I'm gonna have to probably do this level more than once, which is fine. Oops. Oh, I forget this level, like if you accidentally restart it a little too early, I'm not gonna be happy with you. I don't wanna call it a glitch, but it's it's like kind of annoying that if you accidentally restart that level, the room that you unlocked is no longer unlocked. Really hesitant to, to do what I just did there, but it felt like the right thing to do. Getting stuck in a corner for the sake of not wasting time and waiting for the force field McDoodle to get out of the way. The McDoodle. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo the level. That's two to my left. I'm not playing Survive right now, but doesn't mean I've completely retired from Survive. Not bad. I just need. Oops, one more. Yeah, I need five second PB on. I think I need like 14 seconds on this map to unlock the boss or the the one before the boss. Kind of annoying. Uh, I don't want to do that level again. Oh, I, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I only needed to do 10 there. 10 seconds. I don't know why I said 14. Nah, I'm super concentrating on this game at the moment. And if I want to play Survive, like, if I want to stream Survive rather, I feel like I would just go all out dedicated day to it, because I really enjoy those streams. Alright, boss fight time. If I get less than 15 minutes here, I'll be really happy. So it is a uh, concentration hour. I'm already not doing super hot on this boss here, but it's fine as long as we don't die. Alright, not bad. Watch for the short shot. Short shot again. Short. That's a long shot. More and more. We get wrecked here. One more. Gimme, give gimme. Give hey, there we go. Less than 14. Not bad. Not bad at all. Damn, I'm really happy with that. So I finally got the achievement, I believe.